Hey guys, I'm here with the former CEO of Mattel, Sega, and Leapfrog, and Global Education Learning, Tom Kalinske. So Tom, you have such an amazing career so far with all these former high positions. As a leader in gaming and education, can you describe your life in day in terms that my audience can understand? Well, right now, I'm not as active as I used to be because I'm 75 years old. But normally, I, I would work with the creative people, uh, whether it was for video game development or toy development, and the marketing people. And I, I, my life would be literally back-to-back -back meetings with either creative R&D people, marketing people, advertising people, sales people. And then sometimes, of course, we'd have to meet with the, the retailers and sometimes the online retailers like Amazon, for example. So my life would be pretty much back-to-back -back meetings. Well, what led you to choosing your career in this field? It's interesting. I started actually in advertising here in New York City, and I worked for J. Walter Thompson, and they had a subsidiary company that developed new products for existing clients. And the idea was, if you developed a new product that was successful, the advertising agency would benefit from the advertising from that product. So one of the products I worked on was Flintstones Vitamins. And uh, it, it became a, a best-selling vitamin. I think it still is the best-selling chew, children's chewable vitamin today. And uh, anyway, I did that for a couple of years. And Mattel was interested in the marketing that we did. And so they contacted me and ended up offering me a job as a product manager back in Los Angeles, California. And that's how I got in the toy business. What do you study at school? Well, well I studied uh, economics as an undergraduate degree and then I have a master's degree in business, so I did all of the business courses, you know, finance and manufacturing and operations and accounting and all of that stuff. And then later I went back to Harvard University's business school for a degree in what they called strategic management. And how has that, how has that applied to your career? That's a great question. I'm not sure how much of that I actually applied. I would say I applied more of the strategy planning that I got from Harvard University than I did the, the other, uh, my, my master's degrees from University of Arizona, my undergraduate degrees from University of Wisconsin. And I don't really remember applying a lot of stuff that I learned in the university directly to my job. I think the Harvard experience was more strategy, team building, and that sort of thing that I did use. Well, what's the most fun part of your day? <laughs> the most fun part of my day is working on product. It always has been. And the least fun? The least fun is working on finance <laughs> and, and working with banks and investors. I shouldn't say that, but it is true. <laughs> when you have, when you're looking to hire someone for the company, what kind of traits do you look for? You know, I, I, my, my opinion has always been that I tried to hire really smart people and I didn't necessarily care what their academic background was. I was more interested in how smart are they and also I wanted to work with people that seemed to be good team members that could get along well with others uh, that, that were the kind of people you wanted to associate with and I considered one of my strengths was an ability to take very technical people and work with them well and get them to work with the marketing and salespeople, because sometimes those two areas clash. Sometimes the very creative people clash with the marketing and salespeople. So uh, I thought that was a, some, a trait that I looked for, was people that I thought could get along with one another. What advice would you give to someone who's looking to enter the toys industry? Well, you know, first of all, I think you need to study it. You need to, I became, an, in my own opinion, I, I learned a lot about the toy industry. I studied the industry. I studied all different parts of the industry and I became kind of an expert in, in the industry and how it operated and who was important, what companies were doing well, what companies weren't, how, what were the retail strategies that worked. Of course, today retail is completely different than when I started. When I, when I started in, in business, it was Sears and Pennies and uh, Toys R Us and none of them are around anymore. <laughs> so, so it's now all online. But, but still, to learn that part of the business and become an, an expert in it so that you, you really know what you're doing in that part of the business. What type of changes would you like to make in the toys industry before you leave it? Well, I already made a bunch of them. I mean, I, one of the, we were talking before this started, uh, last night we had the Academy Award of Toys, the Toy of the Year Awards for all different category of toys. And this was an idea 
that Alan Hassenfeld, at the time he was chairman of Hasbro and I was with Mattel, and we're, believe it or not, very close friends, even though we compete, we competed in those days all the time, but we're very close friends. And we said to ourselves at the time, we were having an annual toy industry dinner where we raised money for just one university, Brandeis University, good university. But we said to each other, why don't we raise money for children's charities instead? And why don't we try to have the Academy Award of Toys? And maybe someday somebody will want to televise it and it'll literally become the Academy Award like the movie industry is. Now that part hasn't happened, but the toy industry uh, awards has happened and it's a huge dinner we had last night, a thousand people. We raised a lot of money. We've raised over, several, well, we, I think last year we gave $15 million away to children's charities through the Toy Industry Association. So it's, we've really done good stuff for the industry and I just hope the industry continues to do that, continues to support children's charity and someday I hope there is a television show on the Academy Award of Toys. Is there anything else you'd like to let people know about you? Well, I'm a dad, I have six children. Uh, I met my wife here at Toy Fair uh, 49 years ago, so, uh, so a long, long, long time. And none of my children are in the toy industry. I wish I could have convinced one or two of them to be, but, but no one is. Uh, I spend a lot of my time on children's education now, uh, using technology to improve education, and I serve on the boards of a number of companies where we're trying to basically take video game technology and make curriculum more fun and interesting and as, and as involving, involving as video games are. So that, that's the thing that I'm still working on, still want to get done. Well, thank you, Tom, and great talking to you. Okay, my pleasure. This is Rowan Fox from Kids First signing out. I was just here with Tom Kalinske, and we had a great conversation. See you next time.